Hello everybody, my name is Keptendo and in today's video I'm going to be making it um, just like I do with the Lake Rage video. I'm going to be making another updated video on how to get the Dragon's Den um, so that you can find out where to get uh, Dratini. Now um, again in this video, much like I did in the uh, uh, last Lake Rage update video thing that it's going to come out before this. Um, again, I'm going to use this. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try my best uh, <laughs> to start using this, uh, because this seems to help some people because some people, they like having like the X, Y, Z coordinates thing. So if you come down here all the way to like the little chat bar, um, and you type in this little, it's either backslash or forward slash. I never know what the difference is between them. Well, I know one faces one way and the other one goes the other way, but you type in this little forward backslash, whichever one this is. Um, and then you type in POS after it and then hit enter. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and zoom out before I hit enter, uh, hit enter at the top of your screen. You will get these three coordinates. Now, uh, these don't move as you move. Um, every time you move, you have to, um, type it in again. So we'll go down here and POS and now you'll see that the numbers, uh, have changed. This is basically just your XYZ coordinates. Um, I'm not going to do that until I get over to the Dragon's Den, or at least where Dragon's Den should be. Eventually there will be a building probably that'll make it a lot easier, but um, uh, until we get over there, I, I'll just hold off on using that so that you can see the actual coordinates of the area if that actually helps you. If not, just follow exactly what I do in the video and it will take you over there. So to get started, the first thing we want to do is, uh, as always, we need to open up our map. Um, I got all this open. I'll go ahead and put all this down here. Uh, this is basically how I've been playing the game. I just have like the chat down here, but um, so it's just more open screen. But uh, what you want to do is just like uh, the new Bark video, just like the new updated Lake of Rage video, you want to head, um, well, I guess we'll go ahead and do the whole process. Uh, go ahead, click on this little house icon on the top right. Uh, that will bring you over here in front of Professor Oak's lab, uh, in front of Pallet Town. And what you want to do is again, use your map because your map, you know, it stays the same, you know, up is north, left is west, down is south and right is east. You know, uh, it doesn't rotate as you rotate your camera or whatever. It's like in a fixed position. So, uh, left on your map will always be west. So what we need to do is again, head in a straight line west. Now, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to keep going until we get over to New Bark Town, and then we're going to teleport to Lake Rage, and from there, we're going to go to Dragon's Den. So I will see you guys when we get to New Bark Town, and then we'll teleport over to Lake Rage, and then I'll show you guys how to get over to the uh, Dragon's Nest. So I will see you guys when we get over there. All right, everybody. So here we are at, uh, that is a, that's a small rat. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if that's normal size or not. No, that's gotta be smaller. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so here we are at a uh, new bark town and what we're going to do is, uh, head over to this little yellow dot on the map. And then that'll be the little teleporter for New Bark Town. This is the reason why we head over here because again, in New Bark Town, there's the little teleporter, which is like the new faster way to, um, you know, travel throughout the Johto region. Well, uh, and by throughout, I mean, there's only like two other places you can teleport to. Um, but what we need to do is we need to head inside this little house. Uh, once you get to New Bark Town, head over to the Alakazam teleporter, and then we need to click on this and then go to Lake Rage. Once we get over here to Lake Rage, what we need to do is, um, basically, I, I guess, hmm, I, I guess I'll go here with my trainer. Um, it would be faster if I just, like, used Lugia and flew over there, just, like, show you guys where. Um, and plus, Lugia is higher up, so you'd be able to see better. And you know what? Actually, I am going to do that. Uh, Lugia should give you guys a better view, because Lugia will be higher up. And since the camera is further zoomed out, you should be able to see more. Um, but, uh, what we're going to do is, um, I go, oops, I'll go ahead and hit F and we'll fly up. So again, we're in front of Lake Rage and we're going to go south and then east. Um, because as you can see, there's like a little canyon up ahead. 
So this is heading south of uh, Lake Rage, and we're gonna follow this like little opening over here to this canyon. Um, so you'll you'll be on the ground over here, um, and you'll head over to this little canyon. This canyon will come to a T. So um, as you can see right here, um, let me put my map down. As you can see right here, um, the canyon comes to an end, and then there's a path to the right and a path to the left. So bring my map back up and we'll fly right on over here. And uh, once we get to this little T, we're gonna go ahead and you know rest our Lugia here. Um, the path off to the right is to the west and the path off to the left is to the east. What you need to do is follow this path over here to the east um, and in doing so that'll bring you to another end uh, but this is good because this is where you need to be and um, follow this like like little canyon all the way to the end of it and once you get to the end of it what you need to do is head up to the top of the mountain so we'll go ahead and, and I, I'd say like this is probably better that like I do it this way otherwise I'd just be speeding through it but um, here we are at the end of the canyon uh, this is also where you catch Lickitung by the way um, but once you get to the ed edge of this canyon, we need to head up to the top of this mountain. So normally you just hit space or hold space and you jump your way all the way up to the top of the mountain. And once you get up here, here we go. Once you get up here to the top of the mountain, uh, let's see what position am I at right now? Now uh, I'll go ahead and bring this up and I can go ahead and hit position and this will show you where I currently am. So this number at the top uh, is where I currently am and um, what we need to do from here is uh, there's like a little opening you can see right over here. We're going to head south and once you head south over here uh, you can see there's like a little flat like little it's not a plateau but there's this little flat area here. You need to head down here. And you'll see like uh, there's Ratata over there, uh, Pidgeys and stuff. What you need to do is go to the end of this little flat area and head down to this little like mini, uh, this isn't a canyon, but you need to head to like this little mini area down here because this right down here, let me head up here. This whole area right here, well not the whole area over there, but this whole area right here is where uh, the Dragon's Den is. There's no building here, again, there's no building, uh, but this whole area right down here is Dragon's Den. So we can go ahead and head down here. Um, one way to, you know, know that this is Dragon's Den is to, again, go ahead and do that position thing. So here we are inside Dragon's Den. Um, you'll see it on the map, it looks like it comes to an end here. But uh, we'll go ahead and hit the little position thing down here. So POS, oh, oops, sorry. I hit period, uh, backslash, forward slash, whichever one it is, um, and then POS, and this is the current position, this is where Dragon's Den is. Now to stay inside Dragon's Den, or at least uh, figure out the boundaries of Dragon's Den, uh, go ahead and head around, like go around like the outer rim, and so long as only Pidgeys are spawning, you are inside Dragon's Den. So if you ever see another Pokemon that's not a Pidgey, or it's not a uh, um, a Dratini, you have left Dragon's Den. So here we go, there's another Pidgey. Basically just this um, inner like little part over here is where Dragon's Den in, is in. <laughs> so that is it everybody, that is it for today's video. Um, this is again, not really anything new on my channel, but it's just a uh, an updated version of the previous one, just because this is a uh, shorter way to get the Dragon's Den than the old one. So that is it for today's video everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this uh, helped. Um, again, this is just a shorter way of doing this. Um, thank you all and I will see you all next time. Bye everybody.